Hey guys, Ivan here at IvanMana.com. In this video, I want to show you how to double or even triple your Google Ads or Microsoft Ads CTRs, which is click-through rate with a simple step. So I'm gonna show you everything here in this video. Uh, as you watch behind my shoulder, I will first show you some examples. Then I will go into some numbers from my own campaigns to show you that in fact, I did see huge increases in my CTR rates. Uh, and then I'm gonna show you how to do it. Now, CTR click-through rate is a pretty important metric. It shows you how relevant your ads are to the keywords and people that click on your ads. Generally, in my experience, the higher the CTR, the higher my conversion rates were because it meant that people that were clicking on my ads, they were relevant, they were the audience that I was looking for, and the only part then left to optimize really if you have a very high CTR is your landing page. And so we're gonna get into all of that in this video. Before we get into it, guys, make sure to hit like and subscribe and hit the notification bell icon so you get updated when I release new videos just like this. That being said, let's get into it. So. What am I talking about here? What is this simple step that will allow you to exponentially increase your CTR rates? It is ad extensions, okay? So some of you guys might be thinking, oh, that's obvious, that's super simple, that's awesome. But a lot of you guys are not utilizing ad extensions and it is such an easy thing to do and it is so huge, okay? Because it allows your ads to take up more space and it, it drastically increases your CTR rates because if you, you know, if the only thing people see on their page is your huge ad, chances of them clicking on that ad go up. And that's what you want. You want more relevant traffic, which will ultimately result in clicks. So let's take a look at some examples here of these so-called extensions for those of you that don't know. So for example, here is a ClickBank product, Synergy Spanish. I believe this is the actual vendor who is running this ad and these are the siting extensions right here. So as you can see, these extensions, now they don't always show up. Just so you know, these extensions, they don't always show up, but when they do, they increase the CTR rate. They take up the entire space of one ad. You could have one ad here, guys, and these extensions are taking up that space. So if you are running this ad and you have these siting extensions, you're basically taking up two ad spots, okay? So you're basically like, it should be no wonder that your CTR rate goes way higher. So this is just an example of a Scything extension. You have some more extensions here. It's not just Scything. You have, this is called a callout extension. I believe this is a callout extension, this right here, uh, which just adds to the end of your description. If we look at another ClickBank product, Ted's Woodworking, they have Scything extensions here. Now this is a little smaller because like I said, these extensions, they don't always show up uh, depending on if there is room. Now in this case, you know, this page is infested with Ted's Woodworking ads and so there's not much space for site links, but they're still here and they take up a little bit more space. So you have here again, the callout extension and you have the site link extensions right here, okay? So they just take up a bit more space uh, as opposed to say this ad, which you know, it takes up just a small, tiny portion. So definitely utilize it. Let's look at one more example here, Proven, which I don't believe is active anymore. I haven't seen any Proven um, product on ClickBank anymore, but they have this extension deal, right? And this is like a promotion extension. This is super cool if you are uh, sending people kind of straight to a sales page, say your own sales page, you can definitely add this. This looks really cool. You know, 50% off, people click it, they go to your page, really awesome. So let's take a quick look at some numbers. I took screenshots of some of my own campaigns. Obviously I had to blur out some information guys, but uh, let's take a look at some examples of CTR rates and then I'll show you how to how to easily do this Okay, so here's one of my campaigns as you can see here the CTRs range anywhere from 5 to almost 10% So the average is like 9% 8.8 and then if we go to the next page, let's look at the extensions Here's the siting extension for that campaign and it is 27% guys. So this is huge. So let's go back for a second 9% 27 9 27 this is more than three times the result because this is actually 8.8, .8, not even nine. And whenever this site link shows, it doesn't show all the time, but when it does, the CTR is three times as high, guys. So if you are able to pay enough, if you can place your bid high enough so that your site links show much more often, because if your ad is usually at the top, there's usually a higher chance that site links will show, your CTR is gonna exponentially go up. Look at this, again, 8%. 27% huge increase. Okay. This is a cycling extension. Now, do you always have to use cycling extensions? Not necessarily. Let's take a look at two more examples I have here for you. So here's another campaign. The average here is 4.81 across all these ads. Again, right. We're looking at the CTR column 
If we go to the next one, this is a structured snippet extension. This is almost double. So 9%, almost double. It doesn't get, uh, this one doesn't have as many clicks or impressions because my position isn't at the very top. But if you are able to pay for your ad to show up at the top, you know, this is the, this CTR is gonna help your ad CTR. Your ad CTR is gonna go up now, right? So again, 4.81, 9%, almost double, okay? Not as good as the previous one, but still huge. Sighting extensions, generally I found, are the hardest hitters, which is why they're my favorite. And one more example, let's take a look at this one. This one, the average is 2.22%, okay? So anywhere from 1.6 to 2.62. And again, a cycling extension didn't show up as much, but the CTR here is 7%. So guys, this just shows you that if you have these extensions up, people are much more likely to click on them. Now, I found similar rates for all other extensions, price extensions, call out extensions, structured snippet extensions, all of these. I'm gonna show you rough ways, or, or I'm gonna go over some of my favorite uh, extensions here, the three that I use pretty much all the time. And if you wanna learn more, you can always check out my course at ivanmana.com slash old dash courses to learn more about every single extension there is, okay? So let's close out of that and let's head over into our handy dandy Chrome and let's go ahead and head over to our Google Ads account, okay? So here's our Google Ads account. I believe we created this Steel Byte Pro campaign last time. So let's click on that and let's add some uh, ads, ad extensions here. So here was our, our ads that we created. Let's go into extensions and it looks like we didn't do anything, okay? So let's head over into ads. Let's see what URL we, we used here. Uh, we used this one. So we're gonna copy the URL because we have to use this for site links. Site links are like, right? You remember these parts here. So when someone clicks on them, uh, they'll be redirected to a certain page on your site. Now, you don't have to have a website with multiple different pages in there. You can really just redirect people to the same website as long as you have these parts here, right? The main thing is here, guys, you don't have to get super creative about site links. The main thing is that they take up space, okay? So what we're gonna do is for the campaign that you want, select the campaign, go into ads, and then click on extensions. And then you can either click on the plus sign here, or in your case, you might see, like it might say site link call out and um, structured snippet extension for you. If you don't, just click on the plus sign and select structured snippet. So I'm gonna show you how to use three of my favorite ones uh, that I always use for every campaign and then the other ones kind of alter, they differ. So what we wanna do here first is I'm gonna go ahead and paste the URL from our, um, from our ad and I'm gonna remove this part here and I'm just gonna say site link. This is for tracking guys. Um, check out my, my previous videos where I show you how to set all this up. Uh, reason why I'm doing this is to be able to track and to know that, hey, the sale came from site links, okay? So what I'm gonna do right away is copy this across all these different options here. Now you might get a little error or not an error, like a little message here saying duplicate site link extensions won't appear and that's okay. We can still add them anyway. So uh, for Steel Byte Pro, once you kind of do this enough times, guys, and by the way, this is that page that we created. Once you do this enough times, um, you will kind of get the gist of it and you will use pretty much the same uh, words and the same uh, kind of extensions for all your campaigns. So for Steel Byte Pro, for example, what we can do is, you know, we can start off by saying, uh, for example, watch free video. And then the, these descriptions are optional, but I suggest adding them so that they take up more space, right? These are the optional parts right here. So they just take up more space, why not? So you can add something, you can say, um, take a look at this free video, see if this is right for you, okay? So that's one, for example, watch free video and someone clicks on it. Again, you don't have to be super creative here, guys. The main thing is here, you wanna build up space, right? Uh, maybe we can even say, yeah, watch free video. Okay, so that's there. So let's go back. Uh, we can say, you know, what people like you are saying. Now, if you recall, um, we actually built this page out, page out together. I changed a few things around. Uh, it took me maybe 10, 15 minutes to just change a few things around um, because I'm doing a case study on this actually, okay? So I will, uh, you know, expect that in one of the upcoming videos, uh, but the page is a little bit different than what you may have remembered. So next thing here we can say is testimonials. And then we can say, for example, don't take it from us, see what others have to say. And then we can scroll down and we can go to the next part here. And let's see what else we got. So we got that, we got show me the video. Uh, sometimes if you have more information, you can add it, like if you have FAQs or depending on what you write. Here we can say, you know, uh, simple trick. We can say, see this simple trick and then find how it can help you. Okay, so just as simple as that, 
And then as we keep going, we can take a look. I like to go with four. Uh, if you add more than four, that doesn't mean all of them are gonna show up. Google's gonna alternate them and it's, it's kinda gonna take turns. So take a look at your page. You know, if you have like a contact us part, contact us, FAQs, things like that. Uh, we can also just say, uh, we can say maybe things like, uh, maybe online exclusive offer, not available anywhere else. Watch video now while you can, okay? So, while you can. And that is pretty much it, guys. Now, hopefully you have, you know, some more information like FAQs, for example, instead of, uh, you know, some of the other things we have here on the page. This was just a simple page. Uh, or if you have like more testimonials or things like that, you can add them here, you know, some of the basics or like free trial, uh, anything like that you can add here, but this is good enough. This is gonna take more space. Now, if you wanna go one step above, this like above and beyond what you can do is sometimes uh, if you have the ability to jump to a specific section of a page so even though it says duplicate citing extensions won't appear uh, final URL must be unique that's not necessarily true if you go to any of the pages um, for some of their ads the same URL does show like for example if we go to this Ted's woodworking one right the site things that I showed you here if you click on all of these these are site links by the way they're just smaller because there's no room. This is all the same page, it's just he scrolls to a specific section. So if you wanna do that as well, you definitely can. So if you wanna be just double sure that it, that it gets delivered or if Google changes their rules because it looks like they say one thing, but even though it's the same URL, uh, it still shows and they still show the site links. Uh, if you wanna be double sure, you can just go ahead and just kind of do the same thing. Just add to the end of your URL, see how this person, he made sections. And then he added this number sign, what do you get? And then for this one, number sign, how to order. And it immediately scrolls to that section. So you can do that with most of the landing page builders, like Unbounce, you can do it with them. So that shouldn't be an issue for you at all. So uh, that is it for our siting extension. We can go ahead and click done. And now these siting extensions are gonna go under review. Um, but that is it for the site things, okay? So here they are, here are all the site things. If you wanna edit them, just click on site link over here and you will have to edit each one. So go to, uh, sorry, not that. Uh, click on the little pencil icon to edit and then just edit that out as you see fit. So let's go back. Let me show you the other two extensions that I really like and they are the call out and structured snippets. So they actually go in order here. So these three are, I guess, the most commonly used in Google, which is why they're at the very top. So the next one is call out, pretty simple. Again, so this is gonna show up at the end of your descriptions, okay? so. Our product here, you know, here's where we could say things like free video. Uh, we could say, what else can we say? We don't wanna say, you know, we don't wanna to talk too much about the product, like it's got a money back guarantee and things like that because we're not, we're not trying to sell them anything yet, right? This is like a pre-sell page. So we could say, for example, amazing reviews. Uh, if you have like a contact uh, number or something down there, you can say, um, con, um, you know, uh, amazing support, or let's say 24 seven support. And then for another call out extension, we can say, for example, yeah, like online exclusive offer, like this isn't available in stores. So you could say that, and this is just gonna be like, you know, additional, basically adds more to your description, uh, expands your ad, makes it more visible. You click save, and that is it for the call out, that is it for the site link. Let me show you my last favorite one is structured snippet. So this one I usually use if I'm promoting uh, you know, if I'm pre-selling an offer right away. Uh, so for example, if I was promoting Steel Byte Pro and I, and I wasn't saying free video trick, if I would say, you know, sign up to uh, get access to this guide, but here's more about the product, here's what Steel Byte Pro contains, here are the ingredients, I would usually add the ingredients here, for example. So one of the more common ones is like berberine, uh, I don't know, they use like vitamin C, vitamin B12, whatever, like all those things, you can add them in here. Um, or you can just add other stuff. So for example, you can add, in, in, in this case, we're listing what it does. So if you have, for example, guides, like a guide that talks about preventing oral infection, you can say oral infection prevention guide, whatever, okay? So what we can do here is we can select here, I think, pretty sure 100% of the time, guys, I select types. I don't use any of these other options here. It's pretty much always gonna be types. And then what we can do is we can just go in and just copy these options here. I'm gonna come back here, you know, tooth pain relief, and this is gonna say, so to the end of your ad, let me see if it shows, it's gonna say types, and then it's gonna say that. Okay, so again, you don't have to get super creative. Uh, it just takes up more space. So we're just gonna add that all here. Gets rid of bad breath, prevents gum disease, and much more. Uh, yeah, you can add it here, sure. And it, 
see like it just takes up more space right and then you click save and that is it guys this is how you make these extensions it takes you five minutes to do it's super quick but it exponentially increases your ctrs especially the more these extensions are shown the higher your overall ad ctrs are now in microsoft ads you do the same thing and if you notice here i have this campaign out this is a test campaign i'm running for you guys so we can do a little case study for optimization and stuff like that i can show you how and we already made a sale, so awesome news. And uh, stay tuned, one of the upcoming videos will be our case study uh, going into optimization, stuff like that. But let's go into a campaign we just recently did, I believe it was Sign Up 60. And in, in Microsoft Ads, I'm not gonna show you the exact step-by-step -step as I did here, because uh, it's, it's pretty much exactly the same. But you go into Ads, right? You select your campaign, go into Ads, go into Extensions, and here you just add the extension. So Site Link, you're gonna look for Site Link, you're gonna look for uh, call out and structured snippet. Okay, now these ones, they are not from top to bottom in order like in Google, but you simply click on create extension. You click on add new extension and you just write it all here. Same exact thing as with Google guys. Um, if you want more detail on Microsoft ads, check out my Microsoft ads course, uh, evonmana.com slash old dash courses, but it's the exact same process as in Google, super easy. And then if you want to learn about other extensions, uh, Sometimes these extensions will apply to your campaign, sometimes not, like depending on what you're doing. Like price extensions are really awesome. I really love these. Uh, if you have different promotions, like different um, pricing plans, for example, or different offers, like with some of the products like Resurge, you have the one bottle, three bottle, six bottle, you can write it here. You can say one bottle, you know, this price, two bottle, this price, or three bottle, and then six bottle, this price, right? And again, look, it just takes up so much more space, guys. So super awesome, take advantage of it. Um, you know, it can't get much easier than this. Let me know in the comments if you have any questions, guys. Again, if you want like a more thorough review of every single extension, because some of them are very powerful, like the price one and the promotion one are really powerful. Uh, take a look at my channel, take a look at my courses. I cover it in very thorough detail. Um, but aside from that, I hope you guys take advantage of this. It takes five minutes and I hope your CTRs really go up through the roof. You're gonna see a big change. Uh, if you enjoyed this video, guys, check out my other videos on the quickest way to make money with ClickBank and how to promote affiliate products on Google Ads, Facebook Ads, and so on. Thank you guys so much for watching. I will see you in the next video.